Thank you all for coming this morning. My name is Adrian Bridenstine. I'm the executive director of the Journey Home, and uh, I'll be the one walking you through the program this morning. As you all know, we're here to announce the Power of Home program. And um, I won't speak too much about this program other than to tell you that it, this is a really important program that helps to advance the journey home, which is Baltimore's plan to make homelessness rare and brief. This is so important because it helps us to get people into housing as quickly as possible. Um, again, I will uh, allow our speakers to talk to you in more detail about this program. Um, I'd like to start, actually, by turning the program over to uh, Mayor Rawlings-Blake who will be uh, telling you a little bit more about how this supports the Journey Home and uh, citizens in Baltimore. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Adrian, I want to thank you for your uh, very hard work as the executive director of the Journey Home. You've done uh, a, a great job coordinating our resources and bringing the energy that I think the uh, effort needs. I want to thank Olivia Farrow, who, who is right in front of me, Calvin Butler, uh, from BG&E, Mary Ellen uh, Vanny from the Fuel Fund, and all of you for being here with us today. I'm excited to announce a new initiative in support of the city's 10-year plan to end homelessness. As we all know, homelessness is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach. And I've said the goal of our 10-year plan was to make homelessness rare and brief in Baltimore City, and, and I believe we can get there. Today's announcements helps to remove a barrier that many families face as they look for a way to get back on their feet with a permanent place to live. Permanent housing programs have reported that approximately one-third of their potential clients have a past due BGE debt that acts as a barrier to entering a program. The average debt is more than, than $1,200, with some accounts uh, being more than $5,000 in arrears. These amounts would be a challenge for any family in this economy. So you can imagine the burden this places on those who are living in a shelter, trying to reestablish themselves. The Power of Home program will work to eliminate this barrier and help more families move into permanent supportive housing. The program will work through uh, coordination with BGE, the Fuel Fund of Maryland, and the Mayor's Office of home, uh, Human Services. It will allow for a streamlined process for eligible clients through which they will receive an Office of Home Energy Program, uh, or OHEP, assistance, followed by fuel fund assistance, and any remaining debt will be covered by the Power of Home Fund. I want to thank those partners who have made the Power of Home possible. BGE will be providing $20,000 in bill credits, Weinberg Foundation $20,000 in funding, the Journey Home $5,000 in funding, the Fuel Fund of Maryland, and the Mayor's Office of Human Services all worked uh, in collaboration to make this happen. The power of home is a huge step in the right direction towards helping to make homelessness rare and brief in Baltimore. We continue our advocacy through the Journey Home because ultimately we know that there must be systemic changes uh, to make homelessness uh, rare and brief in Baltimore. I know we can continue to do better, and I'm grateful for our partners here with us today who are joining with us uh, to end homelessness. And, and I really want to thank them because it, it, everyone knows what the goal is, but when we don't have smart people that are willing to put resources on the table to identify these key barriers, the goals don't matter. So I want to really thank everyone for coming together, identifying uh, a, a, a trap for families, and identifying the way out uh, for many of these families. So I'm grateful for the partnership. I'm grateful for the support. And I will turn it back over to Adrian Reinstein, Executive Director for The Journey Home. Thank you very much. So um, as you heard through uh, Mayor Rawlings-Blake's remark that this is really a strong public-private partnership. I'd now like to introduce one of our great private partners uh, that is involved with this initiative, Calvin Butler, who joined BG&E uh, one year ago as Senior Vice President for Regulatory and External Affairs. Before he, uh, before he served as Senior Vice President, um, he, or he served as Senior Vice President of Corporate Affairs at BGE's private company, Exelon Corporation in Chicago. On Friday, February 28th, 
Mr. Butler will succeed Ken DeFontes Jr. as BGE's new Chief Executive Officer. Adrian, thank you very much. And uh, Madam Mayor, it's always a pleasure to see you and spend time with you. Um, first off, BGE is especially honored and pleased to be here with you and with our partners to really announce and to kick off the Power of Home program. At last fall's Journey Home event, I, I've been here for approximately a year now, full time, and I was sharing with Adrian at last fall's Journey Home event, I was moved by the stories and what the um, office, the mayor was trying to do to end homelessness, homelessness in the city, to move people into more stable home environments. I couldn't help uh, but be moved by the strength and determination of the individuals displayed to overcome the tough breaks that life can sometimes send our way. When those who have endured homelessness are able to take the steps needed to put a roof over their head, with the help of some of the folks here today, we want to make sure that having a past due BGE bill doesn't keep them from getting their family into a new home. Rather than asking a client to identify and make their way to the many providers of social services, the Power Home program be brings them all to one client, all to that client, which dramatically reduces the amount of time needed to address any outstanding issues, such as a past due utility bill. This program brings different resources to bear, including help from the Fuel Fund, the Journey Home Campaign, the Weinberg Foundation, and yes, my company, BGE. We are proud to be an initial, initial part of this program by offering $20,000 in bill credits, but we do recognize that this is just a start. And let's be clear, we do not view this as a handout. We view it as a modest hand up to those who have taken the initiative to get the help they need to make a better life for themselves and more importantly, their families. With the power of home, we're pleased to welcome these clients back as BGE customers. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Executive Director of the Fuel Fund of Maryland, who we've had a long-term partnership with, Mary Ellen. Thank you, Calvin, and uh, good morning, Madam Mayor. Thank you for having us here. Uh, we at the Fuel Fund are excited and very pleased that this project uh, has started helping uh, homeless people get into permanent housing. For more than 30 years, the Fuel Fund has been helping families pay their heating and utility bills to avoid homelessness and so that they can stay in a safe and warm house. Homeless people and families, though, presented a special case for us. Uh, we could not, until the Family of Home Project, assist homeless people with outstanding utility bills because they didn't have an address. Uh, in essence, a rule-driven quirk was keeping people from finding the stability all of us want to maintain. However, by creating an alternative path for the rules, ensuring there is appropriate support and resources, and forging a collab collaboration among the agencies represented here, the new path is there and people are moving in. In our role as the last link in the power of home chain, the Fuel Fund of Maryland looks forward to continuing this partnership and exploring the possibility of expanding this model of service in the counties. When there is collaboration among so many agencies, we can really help to focus on the real issue, the families and the individuals finding a safe and supportive place to live. I really thank the uh, Mayor's Office of Homeless Services, the Journey Home um, Initiative, which <coughs> caused us to focus on finding a solution uh, for making this possible. On a personal note, uh, about 17 years ago, I was working in homeless services for Catholic Charities, and we could not crack this nut, and now we have. So we're really pleased to be in this position. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce our final speaker this morning, uh, Brittany Harris. Brittany is a case manager that really is the one that is on the ground helping us to implement this program, making sure that the families and individuals who need the service are getting it on a regular basis. Uh, Brittany Harris is from Mercy Supportive Housing. She is here with her uh, supervisor, Sandra Eady. So Brittany, please come to the podium. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 
Um, first, I would like to, again, recognize my supervisor, Ms. Sandra Eady. She is the supervisor of Mercy Supportive Housing Program under Mercy Medical Center at the Social Work Department. I would like to thank um, all of the partners involved and thank the Mayor's Office of Homeless Services for inviting us here. We are very honored to be here today. I am, again, Brittany Harris. I'm a case manager with Mercy Medical Center Supportive Housing Program. And I, for one, speaking on a um, professional level, working directly with the clients, very grateful for the Power of Home um, program and the funding in the program. Um, I've had many clients who have had BG&E be the number one barrier to housing. Um, I've had clients who have been awarded a Shelter Plus Care voucher but have had $3,000 worth of BG&E debt. Um, and as many of you know, you can't move into a house with an arrearage like that. So um, that has been a huge barrier, having to have clients who um, had to go to a bunch of different programs in different places and churches and foundations to get $20 here, $30 there, $50 there. It can be extremely frustrating, um, especially for clients who are facing homelessness and have been in shelters for X amount of time. Um, you know, sometimes they give up. They don't want to do it anymore. And to have this program in place, I honestly wish that it was in place when I first started working for Mercy. <laughs> but um, to have it in place now is, 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 is so, I'm so grateful for it. And I know that my clients are grateful for it as well. Um, I have two clients um, in the program who have already gone, started their process with the Power of Home Fund. One of them who has already been awarded her money to go toward her BG&E bill. And she will be housed um, within maybe the next two weeks or so. And so we thank you and we ask that you all please continue to support this initiative. Thank you for having us here. All right, that's the end of the program. Thank you, Brittany, and thank you to all of our speakers who came this morning um, to, to talk about this important initiative. Thank you. Thank you.